636 people have died in mainland China from the novel coronavirus outbreak with more than 30,000 confirmed infections now. Doctors are being urged to carry out so-called nucleic acid testing to confirm infections. Now that testing allows identification of genetic material specifically associated with the virus. Meanwhile, the death of a Chinese doctor who tried to warn the public about the virus has sparked anger and grief on social media. Dr. Li Wenliang was one of the first doctors to sound the alarm. But he was allegedly reprimanded by police and told to stop making false comments. Dr. Li was an eye doctor and caught the virus after treating a glaucoma patient at Wuhan Central Hospital. China's top anti-corruption body says that it will send investigators to probe issues raised by the people in connection with the doctor. But many in China have expressed their sadness. <音>我们应该想到学习我还是很难过的唉这么一个好人就最后也没挺过这一关剩下的都是不能说的他所展现出来的就是一个对社会的一个负责任的态度他非常诚实守信所以我觉得嗯对这个事情我觉得全社会都
relating to issues of Dr. Lee. So uh, likely we'll be hearing a lot more about this. All right, to get your update as well on the virus and the number of infections, Olivia, the fewer for two days now, officials in China, are they confident that their measures are working? Well, we heard from the National Health Commission, and they did say that this does show that its prevention measures are working. But at the same time, we had earlier heard from the World Health Organization that it's too early to make predictions. Uh, we also have seen um, just a short while ago in Chinese media reports from uh, Chinese expert Zhong Nan Shan, and he said that uh, the outbreak has not reached its peak just yet, and so uh, the country has to continue to be on guard and continue to press on with its prevention and control measures. Now, the authorities today at a news conference said that, you know, China is in a critical period and is confronted with a lot of difficulties and challenges, especially in Wuhan and Hubei, which is the epicenter of this outbreak. And what they say is the biggest challenge is that they continue to see an increasing number of patients, but limited medical support. And so they say the next steps, they'll be adopting a few uh, key things. Four principles. One is to have early identification, reporting, quarantine and treatment. Also, they'll be continuing to provide uh, support and medical supplies for uh, Wuhan and Hubei as well. There's also the centralization principle, that meaning that the most severe patients will be sent to the most competent hospitals as well. And they are also talking about research methods to cure the diseases, talk about uh, seeing you know, effective use of uh, traditional Chinese medicine in um, treating some of the patients over there as well as the development of the vaccine. Um, but we do know that the focus of authorities is going to be on the number of severe cases and they're going one of the things that they said they are trying to do is also to try to bring down the mortality rate so even though they are saying that there's been a good trend seen in fewer uh, you know newly infected cases uh, China is certainly not out of the woods yet all right many thanks for that Livia Xiong our China correspondent